Hi, my name is Maddie Meyer. Before we begin our tour of the museum, we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that the San Pasqual Battlefield State Historic Park lies on the ancestral homeland of the first people, the Kumeyaay. The Museum and Visitor Center at the San Pasqual Battlefield State Historic Park serves to not only educate visitors on the battle, but to provide context for the events of the Mexican-American War. The layout of the museum follows a linear timeline, beginning with the 77 years of Spanish and later Mexican colonization in California leading up to the war, and ends with the events that followed the American acquisition of California. In between, you'll find the stories of men who fought in the Battle of San Pasqual and accounts of their experiences in the pivotal battle for control of California. When you first step inside the museum, there is a display describing some of the traditions and customs of the Kumeyaay people, who, as I mentioned earlier, have called San Diego County home for time immemorial. The mural shows the Kumeyaay going about their daily lives prior to Spanish invasion, grinding acorns using stone matates to make flour. The next section of the museum covers the period that followed the invasion of the Spaniards, often referred to as the Mission Period. Following Mexico's expulsion of Spain in 1821, the society and economy of California experienced a transition, with control shifting from the mission system to the feudalistic landholder practices of the Rancho period. The increased focus on cattle ranching during the Rancho period is also emphasized in the exhibits, as it resulted in the Mexican residents of California, or Californios, becoming some of the best horsemen the world had seen. The social and political structures of the Rancho period in California is further explored as the museum timeline draws closer to the outbreak of the Mexican-American War in 1846. Tensions between the United States and Mexico, fueled primarily by President Polk's determination to control the Pacific coast, eventually led to war. The observation room is oriented so visitors can view the valley the battle took place in, while reading the corresponding accounts of events and following along on the battle map. To further bring the story to life, examples of the kinds of weapons that were used in the battle are displayed on either side of the battle map. On the walls of the observation room, the biographies of men who fought in the battle helps to bring to life the unique set of individuals who made up both the California and American sides. The impact that the American acquisition of California had on the Kumeyaay community in the valley is also discussed, as well as the history of the white American settlers who took over the valley in the late 19th century. On nice days, the park is the perfect place for picnics and bird watching. It's very likely while you are here that you will see at least one kind of bird you wouldn't see in the city, such as a vulture, roadrunner, or quail. In the spring, the park plays host to a wide variety of native Californian wildflowers, making our park one of the best places to view wildflowers in the area.